Morning, Andrew. Morning, Bev. So this follows on from the Casey report, follows on from the David Carrick uh, issue, also uh, Wayne Cousins, etc. Uh, uh, the Casey report uh, saying that the Met Police was institutionally racist, homophobic, misogynistic. And then you remember back in January, Mark Rowley, the boss of the Met Police, then launching this investigation, over a thousand people investigated, uh, previously investigated for uh, a domestic violence and sexual abuse. They are being reinvestigated. He now says that four in five of uh, more than 1,000 cases now need to be reassessed or uh, reinvestigated. And in fact, 90 officers have been moved from fighting uh, serious and organised crime to the Met's professional standards team. So this, so this is part of an update from Mark Rowley writing to the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, writing to the Home Secretary, Suella Bravman. Let's just uh, go through some of these statistics that he's updated in his letter then. So 1,131 individuals have been reinvestigated. 246 will face no formal action because correct action was taken at the time. 689 will undergo a new assessment to pursue new or missing lines of inquiry, including possibly talking again to victims and witnesses. Uh, 196 face formal risk management measures and potentially a review to determine if they should remain in the force. Now, he also mentioned in his letter that 161 Met officers have criminal convictions. Of these, 76 for serious traffic offences such as uh, drink driving, 49 are for dishonesty or violence, 8 committed the offences while they were serving in the Met, 3 have convictions for sexual offences. Now, uh, Mark Rowley also said that the force is going through all 50,000 of its staff. It's been through uh, 10,000 of them already, checking them against the police national database. Uh, uh, and of those 10,000, 38 potential cases of misconduct, 55 cases of off-duty association with a criminal. He's saying in the next six months, up to 100 officers may have to leave the organisation. It could be hundreds over the next uh, two to three years. And he's considering banning anyone with convictions other than the most minor from the force. Of course, all of this designed to uh, uh, reinstill trust, uh, public trust, in the Metropolitan Police. And of course, police in this country, they police by consent, they need that trust. And in fact, a BBC YouGov survey uh, out today says that, uh, uh, that almost half of women totally distrusted the Met. So all of this designed to reinstill public confidence, public trust in the Metropolitan uh, Police. But listening to the chairman of uh, London's Police and Crime Committee, Susan Hall, this morning, she was commenting on Sir Mark's findings. She said that uh, things are going to get much worse before they get better.